Today I'm going to be helping an out-of-state investor get involved in the Cleveland market. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the show where I help investors from all over the world invest in real estate. All over the world, really, we got real estate strategies, real estate advice, education, the whole shebang, right? Even folks out there with no money just getting started looking at wholesaling. We have a wholesaling course, which you could get in the links below, which is going to crush any of the garbage competition you've seen out there, right? All these other gurus of this or that telling people all wholesaling about this and they're not even teaching y'all wholesaling they're teaching you guys illegal activities that don't even work that's not what we do at home wise we teach people the right way to do things so even them wholesalers out there in any market you want access to that click my course below but today's show today's show is not about that strategy we do a lot of strategies here today's show is about buy and hold investing in cleveland right this is something that not only am I going to give you the education, I am going to be there to be the property manager for you. I am specifically working with my man, Chris. Chris, you are from California, and you, brother, want to invest in multifamilies in Cleveland, and I got one for you that I believe is a solid deal. I think you're going to like the numbers here. Let's get into the details, the what, the why, the how, the who, right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, right? Because without the numbers, it's all just fluff right who cares about the fluff we ain't about the fluff here at holton wise folks we about the real business the real business of making money in real estate 16802 larchwood cleveland 44135 1999 now if you're used to watching my show you see a lot of duplexes in the hundred thousand dollar price range in the city of cleveland even in zip codes like this but this one is different Okay, this one is in the Cam's Corner area right now. I know a lot of investors, a lot of investors are looking at properties in Cleveland. And you know what I see? I see a lot of people marketing Cam's Corner as pretty much anywhere in 44135. That's not the case, okay? Cam's Corner is very different than the rest of the zip code, right? This is Cam's Corner. This is the heart of it. We are very close. You're right there. Literally on that corner, there's like four or five bars and really high-end restaurants, like specifically on the corner. Then you go down the street. It's like a whole little party area. Nice, like just all kinds of great, nice stuff. And all the houses in, in the immediate area, the closer you are to Cam's, to that central location, the nicer the things are, right? The nicer the properties are. As a matter of fact, uh, for the longest time, like police and firemen had to live in the city of Cleveland to be Cleveland police and firemen. That is no longer the law, but that was the law for a very, very long time. And Cam's Corner is where the majority of those folks owned homes, and they still own those homes today, a lot of them, right? So it's a very, very nice area, right? So the majority of the west side of Cleveland is a C-grade neighborhood, right? This is not. This is a, a, a B-grade neighborhood, totally different, right? And we're going to see that in our price points. It's going to be reflected in our price points, but it's also going to be reflected in our market rents. Now, just a classic duplex, right? Big old duplex. They did the gray. They did the white. They did the refinished hardwoods. Now, these photos are why they were renovating it. They have since placed two tenants in here. But, you know, it's a nice, solid property. And you're going to see that premium in rent just because of the location. The Cam's Corner location is great. As a matter of fact, I own a, a big old house, like a big brick colonial home. It's a single family home. It's got like five bedrooms, and I'm getting like $1,500 in rent. You can't get that kind of rent in the C-grade neighborhoods. Why we're in the basement, just so you're aware, this furnace is a newer furnace, probably within first five years of its life cycle. You're going to see about 30 years of life out of a furnace. Uh, they cost about three grand to replace. 
we will account for that on our CapEx budgets. But you got about 25 years before you have to worry about that. This hot water tank, probably about the same. And they last about 10 years. They cost about a grand. I'm sorry, I lied. They last about 15 years usually. They cost about a grand, okay? All right. Cruising along. More shots of the backyard, right? Boom, boom, boom. So, super nice property, right? Super, super nice. As far as the tenants go. Market rent, nine fifty a piece, right? I know in the C grade area you're used to seeing seven fifty, right? Here we're gonna be nine fifty. Just so you're aware though, uh they did put two tenants in there. I didn't put them in their complete market rent. They got nine and a quarter out of one, eight fifty out of the other. They should have got nine fifty each. So we'll have to up their rents when the time comes. But they're very close, right? So nineteen hundred in rent. As far as what that will look like, what that's gonna bring home, I anticipate you spending roughly twelve and a half to operate this. That's covering your fixed and variable expense estimates, covering vacancy, non-payment, things of that nature. You're calculating for that, right? So we got 1140 for repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, CapEx, right? But that's money that goes home to you. You're not spending that money. So when you get in a nice neighborhood like this, right, in addition to the $200 per unit premium you're going to see, you're probably dealing with a lot less repairs because... The higher risk the property, the higher risk the tenant, the more shit they break, right? More responsible people don't typically break as much shit. So you're probably paying uh, fewer than the projected repairs, right? Uh, so that's quite nice. You're dealing probably with fewer turnovers because they're not as transient, things of that nature, right? And as far as the CapEx that you're saving, remember, I already showed you the furnaces and the hot water tanks. They're in the beginning of their life cycle, right? So this thing is probably going to perform better than projected for a while. As far as price, you're going to have to pay. I don't necessarily know if we have to pay the full $200. i would like to get you a $10,000 discount, right? If you could pick this thing up at $10,000 off the list price, right? $190K, all you got to do is put down $47.5. We get the bank to kick in $142.5, and you're looking at a clear cash-on-cash cash return of 6.2% with the market rents and that's a solid safe investment folks i think these investments are often overlooked investors want to chase the 10 percent return and they want to chase it into c-grade neighborhoods which is fine i've made a ton of money in the c-grade neighborhoods i really have but there's something to be said about stability and quality in this one is a high quality asset so i feel it is very much worth the trade on a few projected return points Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.